we will start laying down today. So make your way to a comfy position. Maybe a good old Shavasana with your arms and legs extended. Maybe constructive rest pose with your knees bent and your feet standing up on your mats. Maybe there's another variation that seems interesting to you today. Go ahead and take any other movements or stretches on your way. And then when you arrive, really let yourself be right here, feeling the pressure on the back of your body, the relief perhaps on your joints or muscles. Depending on your day, maybe you've not laid down at all yet today. Um, so just taking it in, reflecting on how it feels. Scanning your awareness through your body. What do you find today? What do you notice today? Do things feel more or less normal? Or are there any unique sensations that are that you're picking up on here. Now turning your awareness to your breath, investigating your inhales and exhales. Is it flowing? Did you feel better expanding your inhales or exhales? Try to find what you would consider a spacious pattern of breath that suits you today. If possible, we'll breathe just through the nose, sealing your lips, parting the biting surfaces of your teeth and resting your tongue up on the roof of your mouth. Sensing your Nostrils widening a bit so air flows easier and easier through to the lungs. Letting your belly expand like a balloon with your inhales and letting everything soften with your exhales. For some people, the focus on breath can make other areas of the body tense up. So just checking in. Your neck and shoulders, are they able to stay in a relaxed way or be in a relaxed way? Is it possible for you to steady the breath and soften the body? And for some some people or some days that answer is no, and that's okay. Just keeping up with the practice of trying, softening the body, expanding the breath. Many people would consider this a complete practice of yoga. So in case that suits you today, you are always welcome to just keep laying down and just breathe through the class. <laughs> if you'd like to set a dedication or intention, now is a great time to do so. And then let's take three clearing breaths, inhaling through your nose, sighing out of your mouth. Ah. 
couple like that. Starting to bring movement in, maybe wiggling fingers and toes. Circling ankles and wrists if that feels like the next step for you. Maybe reaching the arms overhead, heading into a long body stretch, adding on any additional rotations or shaking movements. And then we'll make our way up to a seat, slowly turning onto either side, and then pressing your way up. We'll be here for just about three to five breaths, so not too long. Let's tend the fingertips up by the side, sitting up nice and tall. As soon as you're feeling called to move, let's inhale, sweep the arms around and up. Option to look up high as the hands join. Exhale, goal post the arms, broaden through the collarbones, press up through the heart. Let's do that a couple of times. Inhale, reaching high. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reaching high. This time we're switching it up. Exhale, lower your arms down to the sides. All right, lowering the chin down toward the center of your chest. Let your shoulders soften back and down. Rocking your right ear toward the right shoulder. Spend as much time lingering here as you'd like, and then start to make your way to the other side, dipping your chin down through center and left ear, then heading toward the left shoulder. Go ahead and explore through that range for a little while. And then bringing your head back up to neutral. Let's move to hands and knees for cat and cow. Hands below the shoulders, knees more or less below the hips. With your inhale, cow pose, lowering your belly, lifting your gaze, lifting your tailbone. And exhaling, rounding up through your spine, pressing into the floor as you tuck your chin and tailbone. And continue on now, inhaling to cow pose, exhaling to cat. Flowing with your own breath. All right, coming back to our neutral tabletop, let's walk the hands over toward the left edge of the mat, then slowly start to sink your seat toward your heels. Almost like you're um, kind of finding like a side bend through that right side. So it doesn't matter how far your seat goes back toward your feet, just focus on that expansion and that side bend through the right side, sending your awareness and your breath right over there to that right lung. When you're ready, starting to switch sides, coming up to center, walking your hands over to the other side, and then slowly lowering on back, side bending through that left side, reaching through the left side. Taking your time, coming back up to center. Let's lower down to the stomach. So we're straightening the legs. Let's stack fists, forearms, or hands beneath the forehead and just take a little rest here. Noticing your low back. And maybe let your heels splay out to the sides. Check in with your neck and shoulders. 
See if we can relax a little bit more. So there's just the least amount of effort needed. Minimum viable effort, maximum relaxation. <laughs> You're welcome to stay here, continuing to unwind. If you like to add on a little bit of movement, maybe you bend one knee and then the other. Maybe you bend both knees and let your feet move from side to side, like in a rainbow-like movement, sweeping it around and back to the other side, perhaps, just playing, playing with the addition of movement. It's not gonna be a right way to do that. So we're exploring. And then bringing the tops of your feet down to the mats, pressing into your feet so your knees um, become a little bit lighter on the mat. Let's slide the hands down by the low rib cage. Hug your elbows to your sides. Hug your shoulder blades together behind you. With your inhale, rising up to your baby cobra, lifting your head and heart just about like 50%. And then exhale, lower down. Just maximum 50% effort so far. We're inhaling to rise up halfway. Exhaling to lower. Now you can stay in this range, or if you want to go up to like 75% or work in that direction, we're just going to keep breathing and lifting to baby cobra, exhaling and we lower. Following your own breath. And then I invite you to spend a couple of breaths lifted or lowered, your choice. Holding steady, feeling a little bit of warmth building. And then pressing up to tabletop. We'll meet up in extended child's pose. Next, knees out wide toward the edges of your mat. Big toes touching behind you and starting to sink your seat toward your heels. You can always add um, like a blanket or a cushion between the heels and the seat for a little more support, little pressure taken off of your knees. Maybe you come up to the forearms. That's another nice way to um, just enjoy more if it feels like too much to have your head this low. And let's send breath all the way down to the sacrum as if you could breathe that deep. Feeling length through the spine, length through the arms. And then starting to rise back up to tabletop. We'll grab our blocks if we like to use those for downward dog, bringing those to the top of the mat, getting all set up. And then lifting the knees, more or less straightening the legs. Find your breath first here. And then if you want to add that movement, go ahead, bending opposite knees or maybe you bend both knees together. Just getting our bodies used to this position. Let's bend both knees, look up toward your hands and then step or walk to the top. Ragdoll, forward fold. And having at least a micro bend of the knees, if not a nice, deep, generous bend. Letting the upper body hang loose here, some traction with the help of gravity, swaying or enjoying stillness.
All right, let's make our way up to standing, bending your knees nice and deep, tucking your chin toward your chest, and then using the help of your hands to slowly make your way up. At the top, just keep moving in your own way, maybe shaking things loose a little bit here, maybe yawning or taking a clearing breath. I think getting a couple of shakes um, is usually a nice practice. Maybe a little twisting, some heel drops, lifting and lowering the heels. Waking everything up, getting used to standing here. Okay. Let's meet up in willow tree pose. So eventually stepping out a little wider and letting your arms twist in both directions. Letting your arms be nice and heavy and loose, just like a willow tree's branches flying around in the wind. <laughs> And maybe closing your eyes if that doesn't make you dizzy. You do that anytime. I'm just a big fan of closing my eyes for like as much of my practice as possible, usually. <sighs> All right, slowing it down, coming back to center. And then heading to the top edge of your mat if you're not quite there. Take a look down at your feet, wiggle your toes, pick them up, picking up the toes, spreading them out, setting them back down. Let's find mountain pose next, spinning your palms to face the front of your space, widening through the collarbones as you gently hug your shoulder blades together. With an inhale, shift your weight toward your toes and then slowly lift your heels, rising up to the tippy toes. With your exhale, lower back down. Let's do that a few times with our breath, inhaling as we rise to the tippy toes, exhaling to lower. You're welcome to add on the addition of the arms when you inhale and rise, maybe the arms lift as well. And exhale, lower. Let's do that about two more times or so. Follow your own flow now. bringing your hands to heart center when you've come to a point that feels good to move along. Remembering your intention if you set one today. And let's, let's shift all of the weight over to the left foot. Start to find one-legged mountain pose with the right knee lifting. Toes could stay connected to the floor or step onto a block, or maybe you lift uh, your right knee to about hip height. With an inhale, lifting the hands high. Exhale, airplane pose, step back. So we're, we're shifting that right foot back, arms are sweeping back, and then stepping your right foot back down to the floor. Take your time. You can kind of hang out in airplane for a moment if you'd like. With an inhale, we're coming to our high lunge. So the right or the left knee bends, arms lift high. Take a um, moment to notice the pelvis. We want the pelvis to be more or less um, squared to the front of your space. And exhale, arrow pose, arms sweeping back, head forward pressing into the ball of the right foot. Inhale, lift the arms back up. Exhale, warrior two, right heel spins down to the mat. And we're bending into that left knee, arms reach wide. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, reverse triangle, straightening both legs, left arm lifts high, right hand just slides down the back of the leg. Breathing here. Meeting back up with an inhale and exhale to warrior two. 
Let's bring the hands to the blocks at the top of the mat. Walk your hands and your blocks over to the right side to the long edge of your mat, pivoting on the feet. We're gonna have the toes slightly out and the heels slightly in, bending through your knees, Find like a halfway, what feels like a halfway lift position. So for me, I'm coming up to the top, setting on my blocks, straightening my back, kind of shift side to side, bending your right knee and then bending your left knee. And then coming back to center, uh, reverse swan dive here. So bending your knees a little bit more. See if you can just reach the arms out wide and then hinge up through the hips, lifting up to star pose. So star pose, we're kind of making an X with the body, feeling kind of expansive, taking up space, taking a breath in and exhale, lowering hands to heart center as we bend through the knees, goddess pose. We're not here long. Inhale, raise it back up, five-pointed star. Exhale, goddess, lowering down. Inhale, rise back up. With your exhale, come down through goddess pose. You can linger there or just head right to your hands on the blocks. Do what you will with your legs as you walk your blocks to the back edge of your mat. So now we're, our, our right foot ends up you know, being the one we're facing. And let's lower the left knee down to the floor. So facing the back of the mat, left knee is down. Shifting the hips forward and down, feeling a nice little hip flexor stretch through the left hip. You can find a little bit of a pulse here if you like, finding the sweet spot and kind of backing out a little bit a few times. Just feels like my joints like that more than holding steady, but it might be different for you. So feel free to choose what you will. You might straighten your right leg a couple of times, finding that halfway split position, peeling your right toes up off of the floor, and maybe noticing that stretch through the back of the right leg. Let's plant that right foot, curl the left toes under, pick up your left knee, walk your hands and your blocks all the way around to the left side till you get back up to the top edge of your mat. Step your left foot to the top or forward folding at the top. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold again, bending your knees. Inhale, reverse swan dive, arms reach wide first, then we're hinging up through the hips and reaching hands high overhead. Exhale, hands come down to heart center. Samastiti equals standing pose. Take a few moments to be, to be aware, to notice, to breathe. And we'll take a clearing breath in through the nose. Sigh it out. Let's start to shift the weight to the right foot as we find one-legged mountain pose with the left knee lifting. Find your variation. And with an inhale, straightening arms high overhead. Exhale, airplane to step back. So take your own timing here. Arms sweeping back, left leg sweeping back, pausing an airplane if you'd like, and eventually just stepping that left foot down to the mat. Bend into the right knee when you arrive. Tuck the tailbone under a little bit. So that might mean you bend the left knee slightly. 
Inhale, hands go high, high lunge. Exhale, arrow pose. Press through that, uh, the ball of the left foot as your arms sweep back, head forward. Inhale, reaching the hands high, bending back in to the knee. Exhale, arrow pose. One more time. Inhale, lifting your arms. And exhale to warrior two this time, opening up wide, bending back into that right knee. Gazing beyond your right fingers. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reverse triangle, straightening the right leg, reaching your right hand high. Breathe here. More length through the right side. We'll meet back up on an inhale and exhale back to warrior two. Bring your hands down to the blocks at the top of your mat. Walk your hands over to the left side. Walk your hands in the blocks over to the left side. And uh, toes out, heels in, bending into your knees, reverse swan dive, arms reach out wide, and then hinge up through the hips, coming up to the top. Straighten both legs, five-pointed star. Take a breath in at the top. Exhale, goddess pose. Hands come together at heart center, bending through both knees. Inhale, rise back up, star. Exhale, goddess. One last time, inhale, star. And exhale, goddess. You gotta play with this however you want. Maybe hold um, for a little bit here if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more. Maybe you come up to the tippy toe, like on one of your feet and then the other. Or maybe you try to do both at once. Ooh. Maybe you bring your hands down to your knees and dip one shoulder toward the center first and then the other. Oh, that feels so good today. When you're ready to move along, let your hands come back down to your blocks. Continue to walk your hands over to the left. So we're at the back edge of the mat, pivoting on all the feet here. <laughs> Lower your right knee down to the mat. We'll find that hip flexor stretch here too. So lowering the pelvis forward and down. See if you can kind of puff the chest up so there's less rounding in the back. And you can find your way in and out of that sweet spot. Whenever you're ready to add in that half splits, pulling the hips back, peeling the left toes up off of the floor. Maybe straightening and bending that left knee or flowing between those two positions. All right, planting your left foot, curl your right toes under, pick up the right knee, and then walk your hands around to the right side, all the way back up to the top edge of your mat. This time we're gonna step the left or the right foot backwards to meet our left in our high plank, just for one big breath in. And then exhale, lower your knees, lower your chest all the way down as if we were gonna do baby cobra. Um, we're getting into that position here, but we're, we're gonna do it a little bit differently. With your inhale, rise to your baby cobra. Stay lifted for your exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more. Last breath in. And exhale, child's pose, pressing your way up through tabletop and right on back. A couple of nice big breaths. And we'll 
have the option to add on a little thread to the needle action here. So you can either take that from uh, child's pose legs, or you can come up to tabletop, um, you could add a little cushioning under your knees, knowing that you'll be there just a little longer. Wherever you choose to be, let's plant that left hand somewhat in the middle of the mat. With your inhale, reach your right hand high, upward twist, pause there at the top, keep breathing as you rotate, the right wrist and wiggle all your right fingers. We're taking a practice uh, round here first with your exhale. We're dipping that right hand down and through, but we're not settling in yet. We're reaching as far as we can over to the left. Inhale, reach your right hand high, upward twist. And exhale, thread the needle this time, reaching down and through and eventually setting your right shoulder and right side of your head on props or the floor. Let your left hand find a supportive place. Maybe slightly pushing into that right shoulder if that feels safe to you. Take a few breaths and notice how respiration or breathing interacts with what you're feeling here. Planting your left hand by your face, press your way all the way back up, upward twist with the right hand high. And then we'll go to switch sides. So the right hand plants more or less in the center of your mat. Left arm starts to reach high, upward twist. Let's take our practice round here first. Breathing in at the top. Exhale, dip and twist, reaching your left arm down and through. Inhale, reach it high once again. And exhale, thread the needle, left shoulder, left side of the head, finding the floor or props, and right hand being supportive however it can. Breathing into that left shoulder, the experience of your left shoulder. And when you're ready, planting your right hand by your face, pressing your way all the way up, pausing at the top with the left hand high, give the left wrist a little love, circling, wiggling fingers. And then we'll come back down to the stomach. So lowering your chest, lowering the belly. One more little shoulder stretch here. Open wing pose will be next. So we'll straighten the right arm out to the right side. You can choose a different angle as we go, but starting just straight out to the side is um, kind of the center point. Let's bend both knees, press your left hand into the floor and turn onto your right side. Paying special attention to that right shoulder. We want to feel kind of like an opening happening on the front side of that right shoulder. Pause when you're feeling it. You could keep your left hand pressing into the floor or you could try lifting your left hand up. We're taking a little bit of movement. Being very careful as you explore. And we'll start thinking about switching sides, eventually rolling back onto your stomach. Bending the right arm, straightening the left. <clears throat> Bending both knees again so your feet are hanging out in the air as you press your way on to your left side. Finding your sweet spot here. You can always come out of it and kind of adjust the angle that your arm is reaching at. 
And we're going for a stretch through the front side of that right shoulder joint. Breathing into it when you find it. You can take arm variations with that right arm or just keep holding steady as you breathe. Starting to think about coming back to your stomach. Pausing for a few moments there in crocodile pose with your hands stacked beneath your forehead for support. If you'd like to try a little something different today and you want to start your final rest now, you're welcome to stay right here and take a prone Shavasana here, um, crocodile pose. If you wanna do just a little bit more movement, let's press our way up to tabletop and then sweep the legs around. <clears throat> lower right back down. We'll pull the knees in toward the chest eventually, either on your way or once you get to the bottom. Let your head and shoulders rest down on the floor. A little bit of movement, circling your knees, pressing. We're kind of manipulating the weight underneath the pelvis here so you can get that massaging pressure. And if you'd like a happy baby, we can reach for the back of the legs here or uh, the feet, pulling your knees in toward your armpits, maybe just staying put right here or enjoying a little bit of movement, however you'd like. It might feel nice at some point to pull the soles of your feet together, kind of like a butterfly pose. Sometimes that can be nice if you want to rock a little side to side. And you don't have to be able to reach your feet to do this. You could kind of hold on to your knees and open them out toward the sides. Any last movements, poses, or stretches that you'd like, go ahead, move through anything like that now. And then whenever you are ready, find your way to a comfortable final rest position. Option to grab a chair and put your calves up on a chair today. Your knees bent. If you're close to a wall, maybe you could bend your knees and just press your feet into the wall or legs up the wall. So many options. And settling in, we're finding that sensation again of maybe relief off of the joints or the muscles. Like most of your body can just be in a relax mode, do not disturb mode. <laughs> Letting today's practice kind of sink in and become integrated. Mm. 
And we'll experiment with a guided meditation today, a visualization. If you're not into that, just relax and find your own way. You could mute the rest of this or um, just do your own thing. If you're up for a visualization, let's start to imagine the space that you're currently in. So if your eyes are closed, just see if you can kind of mind's eye, get a picture of your space surrounding you. The floor, the walls. And bringing your awareness to heart center. If there were a little video game character here at heart center, this is like where your character would respawn or come to life. So letting your character take shape here at heart center, it could be um, in the shape of like a mini you or another fun or playful character, whatever comes to mind, just start to visualize some little buddy right there at heart center. I'm just gonna use the example as if it was a mini you <laughs> that you're visualizing there. So fill in the blanks if you need to with your other character. So right there at heart center, imagine sitting in our Sukhasana cross-legged seated position with your fingertips pressing down into the sides of your mats, reaching up through the crown of your head. You're imagining this posture. As you breathe in in your physical body, imagine your character breathing in, matching your rhythm. Imagine this character at heart center beginning to stand. There's a ladder up, up from heart center, all the way up through the, th the throat center, all the way up to the third eye. Imagine this character climbing this ladder, breathing along with you, climbing up to the third eye center, up through the throat, up through the brain, right there at the center of the forehead. And lo and behold, the third eye center now becomes a doorway of sorts, a portal of sorts. Your character now opens the third eye door, seeing on the outside, clear vision. And in your own way, see your character take flight. Maybe they have a balloon, a hot air balloon, or maybe it's one of those dreams where you can just start to fly. Visualize this character flying around, seeing, flying through space, seeing anything that pops up, any landscapes, any lights or colors. When you see a forest coming up in the distance, and you know that's where you want to head. So making your flight pattern over to this forest. Coming down to the ground. A soft landing on a thick patch of native grasses. And you look around, noticing your surroundings. At the edge of this forest, there are long grasses, native grasses, deeply rooted. 
as you head in to the forest, what kind of trees do you see or smell? walking in your forest until you find a special sit spot, if you will, some place that calls you to take a seat. Could be a soft, cozy patch of moss or a special rock or a bench, just finding your space. preparing your seat, coming back to that easy seat, Sukhasana, planting your fingertips on each either side of you here, feeling into the support in the place you've chosen to imagine sitting, lengthening upward through the heart center, through the crown of your head, breathing in the forest air, as you sit in your imagined sit spot here in your forest, visualize some kind of connection to all the way back, your flight pattern from the third eye door down, the rungs of the ladder back to your heart center. Imagine a connection there between your physical heart center and this journey you've been on here to the to your forest sit spot still anchored at heart center in both scenes You might even imagine your character kind of appearing at heart center and then appearing back in the forest, back and forth a few times. And creating a sense of anchoredness, groundedness in this forest energy. And you can kind of tap into any time. Teleporting or flying or finding your way back. Back into heart center now through the third eye door, closing that third eye door so everything stays in place, climbing down the ladder, back to that cozy, warm, and welcoming home at heart center. Starting to feel into your physical body, notice your fingertips. Notice your arms, your legs, your feet. Feeling the glutes, your torso, the back of your head. Bringing in a little bit of small movement, wiggling fingers and toes, maybe moving your tongue around your mouth. Possibly deepening your breath. Yawning, swallowing, or moving a little more and more. Possibly a long body stretch before heading to the fetal position on either side. Take your time. <clears throat> Take at least one full round of breath on your side. 
and eventually mosey on up to a comfortable seat. You can keep your eyes closed if that suits you or just kind of gazing down at the floor, tenting your fingertips on either side of you, sitting on up just like you saw your character doing at heart center and out in your sit spot in your forest, lifting up through heart center, through crown center. Om Shanti, 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 peace, peace, peace. Together, drawing palms together with thumb, thumbs at third eye center. Let's seal our class together with a little bow forward. Together now, peace.